All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Studios. And in front of me on this table, I have three individual rifles. Now, this is part of my production build series where um, I wanted to do a couple of really cool things. Run test. Uh, it's all about trying to figure out what's going on. Because here's the thing. So you have one rifle where a guy may have an issue saying, I can't get the thing to zero worth of crap. And then you've got the same manufacturer of that rifle where the guy's sub MOA. Uh, so there's a lot of different variables in what a rifle has to do, in other words, to be accurate. It's kind of unique. So what I wanted to do, and this has always been a dream of mine, it's been several years in the making, is that I wanted to build uh, a, a series of rifles. So like the Econo rifle, this guy right here. I, th I What I did was I tried to find the cheapest parts that I possibly could use. Uh, Bear Creek Arsenal Barrel, a uh, Gun Tech Handguard. These things are absolutely awesome. They're made in the USA. Yankee Hill Muzzle Brake. These things are like 20 bucks, but they are the best muzzle brake. So, again, not the cheapest thing. Like you could buy a muzzle brake for 20 bucks or seven dollars, but I wanted something that was going to be effective, and I think these are the most effective. Uh, Palmetto State Army put a sale on their uh, nitride bolt carrier groups. Uh, you know, MPI tested the whole deal. So I wanted something like that a really good lower parts kit, uh, just a standard A2 grip, and then uh, something other than, believe it or not, these things are, this is the Magpul, and I can't remember which one this was. I, I actually bought this one because it was actually really cheap, and then I did, I purchased most of all the, I bought all this stuff, okay? Uh, this, none of this was given to me. So, uh, bought the majority of these items off of Big Daddy Unlimited because, well, you know, when you buy in bulk, you actually are going to save a ton of money. So in any case, uh, what I wanted to do, and then even these charging handles, I got these from Classic Firearms. They had their, their knockoff uh, from the Radiant Raptor. But uh, what I wanted to do was just put something that I could figure out. All right, so <laughs> anyway, long story short, with the short uh, this whole t series, is that I want to go through what I've done with these rifles, okay? And uh, again, uh, and then we're gonna scope the barrels because then I wanna take them out and I wanna show you uh, how, how accurate they are. Uh, we're gonna put a target at 100 yards, see what kind of MOA we can get with different types of ammunition, 77 grain, uh, 55 grain, and then uh, maybe even 62 grain. So uh, let's do this real quickly. I am, and I'm gonna weigh them. And a fr uh, one of the guys out there a little while back, he was like saying, you know, you probably need to put your scale on something hard as opposed to carpet. And you were absolutely right. So uh, what I've got here also is my uh, bore scope. So we're gonna bore scope these things and see what they look like, which is gonna make things very interesting. And then, uh, so let's do this. All right, the Econ rifle. I think I've got probably less than 500 bucks in this. And to be honest with you, one of the best ways to buy an economical rifle is just order a parts kit uh, from Palmetto State Army when they're on sale. You can put a rifle together for less than you know 450 bucks with a lower. So what I wanted to do, uh, we'll go ahead and talk about this. And this is just an Anderson lower, standard upper, just whatever I could get on sale. Magpul stock, these things were like $19, $21 on a Big Daddy Unlimited A2. This is a standard, uh, I think just a CMMG lower parts kit. Uh, and the cool thing is, the trigger's very smooth in that. And, and then, like I said, the gun tech, I got a Yankee Hill uh, gas block, uh, and then a Bear Creek Arsenal barrel. This is a uh, one and eight twist. So we're gonna go ahead and see what that looks like in the inside here in a few seconds. All right, the medium range build. I wanted this to be a little bit better. And honestly, I gotta be perfectly honest with you. I think this is probably the best rifle in the series. It's the medium uh, price rifle, but it's a really good rifle. So I've got a parkerized uh, magnesium phosphate uh, uh, bolt carrier group uh, premium from the BS uh, Palmetto State Army guys. Um, the charging handle on this guy is the BCM. And I wanted something that was going to be a really something uh, that was nice, but not the most expensive. I can't even remember how much any of this stuff cost, but we'll go through this. But we got a Bravo B5, B5 Bravo stock, which I absolutely love. I put these on the competition rifles because I think that they're enough with the cheek weld, but they're not overbearing like the SOP mod stock on this guy right here. Uh, 
M3 uh, BCM grip, which is my favorite. I uh, also went with a uh, Spikes, uh, not Spikes, but the uh, Strike Industries lower parts kit. I love their lower parts kits. Uh, this has a BCM nickel boron trigger system in it. And you want to talk about something that's absolutely smooth as a baby's ass. This is one of them. Then we've got, uh, I can't remember who did this, Anderson Lower, just as simple as can be. This has the uh, Bliska Vantage. This is your military profile barrel. Uh, I do like those things. And then I've got a BCM uh, handguard on this guy, the MCMR15, which I absolutely love. Uh, very stiff. It goes well. It aligns with the top. And that is one of my biggest pet peeves is the alignment from here to here. If you take a straight edge and you run it, you'll notice that some of these handguards will literally, they'll raise up. I cannot stand that. I had a problem with the Midwest Industries handguards. The damn thing just flexed all over the place. Probably my fault, but in any case, I did not like it. And again, we went with the uh, Yankee Hill uh, flash hider right here. All right. Uh, on the high end, what we have here is uh, the SOP, B5 SOP mod stock. We've got a Bravo uh, BCM Mod 3 handguard. I went with a Hyperfire duty trigger. Um, Tactical Considerations did a video on these things a while back, and I really like them. Uh, they're really nice, but as far as, you know, not a competition trigger, I don't want a competition trigger on something that I'm going to be carrying in the field. Uh, I've got the Palmetto, uh, primary, <laughs> Palmetto State Army, Palmetto State Army Nickel Boron Bolt Carrier Group in here. Uh, these are also, these were, um, oh my gosh, who did the uppers on these things? I can't remember, but they're really good. Anderson Lower, uh, Geisley Handguard. And this particular one, I gotta get new glasses because I can't see anything. This is their Mark 8. Yeah, that was the most expensive purchase on this thing. And the Strike Industries, this is their Venom. Uh, I like these things because what I can do with this is I can put the little can on there. Uh, and we've got two rifles with this and two rifles with the Yankee Hill. And then on the Ballistic Advantage, this is their Hanson Profile Premium Barrel, which will be interesting to see how that works. So let's do this real quickly. I'm going to pull these uppers apart, and then we're going to go ahead and scope them out individually because I want to take a look at the barrels. Now, the medium build and the premium build have not been fired. I did take this out, and I've shot this along with the other three little partners that it had. And uh, we will go from there. Let me just throw that on the ground there. Pull that out. And it, oh, after we get done scoping them, we'll weigh the rifles. Uh, they are very comparable. Uh, this guy right here, I think, is the lightest of all of them. Oops. Well. Damn. Wilson Combat did the upper receiver. I just bought those. They were on sale. <clears throat> They were on sale from the guys over there, believe it or not, at Optics Planet. Uh, like $59. And a lot of this stuff I bought way before um, there was even a, a deal with, uh, with COVID. So, let's do All right. Pull this one apart. Channel Cat Chaser, I know you're tired of the uh, getting bored with the uh, AR-15 builds. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, I'm going to go ahead and press the record button over here. All right, we're going to scope out the uh, Econ model, okay, which that rifle has been fired. And this is the Bear Creek Arsenal barrel. You can see the landings, got a little copper on there. That looks good. And yeah, I don't wash my, I don't clean my damn guns. I know I should, but I, I just... I don't do a very good job of it, if I even if I did. Anyway, you can see some of the deposits on there. The lands are not very pronounced in this barrel at all. Hell, on the side view, you can't even see them. <laughs> well, there's a land. That's just crazy, y'all. 
look at the uh, cuts. Now what happens is these are button pulled. So what they do is they drill the, the bore out and then they pull through a, uh, a, a form and it gets really, really hot. So you can see what that looks like. And then there really isn't a whole lot of crown. Okay, so let's go ahead, ballistic advantage. This is their military profile. This has never been fired before. Oops. Go ahead and take a look. There's our lugs. So you get a little dirty. Let's see where the land start. There we go. And these do the same thing, but you can tell the difference in the cuts in the barrel. The lands are a little bit taller. You're probably going to get a little bit more accuracy out of this barrel. It'll be interesting to see. I don't know, man. Bear Creek Arsenal. I've seen barrels with those guys with a uh, a uh, 77 grain get sub in my way. I'm going to watch it a lot better. All right. You can see the lands all the way down. And this is a, probably a nitrite finish. A little goo right there. I'm not worried about trying to... Uh, Season these barrels. I'm def oh, that is actually a really nice barrel. Look at that. There's your uh, gas hole. Wow, that's I'm impressed. Keep going. All right, let's go ahead and scope out. This is the Hanson Premium barrel. Let's see if there's a big difference between the two. There's your lugs, looking good. the lands come in what I do is I look for the consistency of the lands and if they're starting and stopping in the location those actually look really really good that's a good looking barrel I'm not even gonna run a swab through them before we shoot them nice Somebody's got something going on. Well, evidently, they may have test fired this thing beforehand. I don't know. I've had some uh, Blisk Advantage barrels that really looked like ass, but, uh, oh, wait a minute. Let's do this. Let's see if we can find that gas port hole. It's got a nice sheen to it. There it is. Fantastic. A lot of people ask me if it makes a difference if it's uh, the gas port hole is in a land or not. Uh, I, I, I can't answer your question. Uh, I, my, my proof research barrel that I just had, it actually, uh, the land, it was not in the land. All right, so let's do this real quickly. I'm going to stop that. Let's go ahead and weigh these things because that's part of the program, correct? And then uh, we'll get out of the range and do a shot in the next video. So let's weigh these bad boys. All right, so here we are. We're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to turn this thing around. I was weighing some other stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and weigh these bad boys out. All right, so the premium build. Six pounds, 12.6 ounces. The medium build. Six pounds, 5.3 ounces. That's one of the reasons why I think this thing right here would just, you know, be a, a good option. And then the Econ model, six pounds, 6.9 ounces. All right, so let's get them out to the field, see what the accuracy is. And then eventually down the road, what we'll do is we'll take out the three other rifles that are identical to this one and I want to see if there's a major difference between the accuracy of this one. There's four of these see what the accuracy level is on that and then this one now I'm gonna go ahead and I've mounted I've got three scopes over there that I'm gonna to mount to these rifles so that I don't have to worry about it we're just gonna uh, bore sight them and see where the bullets land with that being said let's get out there to the field it'll be part two of this series because I know this is getting long it's KB32 if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and have already done so support the red white and blue God bless America God bless men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom freedom's not free y'all be good I'm out here boom